Uh, it is my belief, it is our attorney's belief that we can prove that in fact it could apply uh, in several other counties. And in fact, as I mentioned uh, on one of the interviews I did, I think the attorneys for the county commission have done an awful lot of work on our behalf helping us prove that point. Because they look at those counties and the number of people in those cities, and while they don't currently meet, there's a 1,500 children uh, limit. You have to have at least 1,500 children uh, in your community under the municipal law to have a municipal school, or if you already have a school system there and you're converting it to a municipal, you have to have had at least 2,000 students, uh, something along that line. I think that's right. Yes. And so. If, uh, if you look at those communities, they're all smaller communities. But I believe that we can easily show that communities like Arlington and like Bartlett and even Lakeland, if you look at our growth over the last 10 years, you can easily have some of those communities that have five, six, seven hundred people. If they had uh, some kind of a, a business come into that county, open up all these jobs that those communities would grow and the number of school children would grow and then that would apply to them. And so that's what has to be uh, the proof that, that our side has to put on. Uh, but as was pointed out to me earlier this afternoon, the, the harder proof is on them to prove that it's no way it could happen and I don't believe they can prove that. So anyway, that has to be argued on Thursday if uh, he hears those things and doesn't completely throw the case out at that point then they'll go to further findings and he'll decide whether or not to let the election go forward. Um, my take on his comments today were he's very hesitant not to let the election go forward because technically the election is underway. The absentee ballots not only have been sent out, but some of them have returned, been returned. And while the attorney for the city of Memphis tried to argue the point that there isn't a vote until it's counted. Uh, he argued that that's not exactly true. That people have stated their opinion, and the further you get along into it, the harder it is to turn back. 